The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Waywardness of Man Oh, that there was such an heart in them, that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Deuteronomy 5, verse 29. After Satan was shut out of heaven with those who fell with him, he realized that he had lost all the purity and glory of heaven forever. He consulted with his angels, and a plan was laid to still work against God's government. When Adam and Eve were placed in the beautiful garden, Satan was laying plans to destroy them. Satan commenced his work with Eve to cause her to disobey. She first erred in wandering from her husband, next in lingering around the forbidden tree, and next in listening to the voice of the tempter, and even daring to doubt what God had said. In the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. She thought, perhaps it does not mean just as the Lord said. She ventured to disobey. She put forth her hand, took of the fruit, and ate. She offered the fruit to her husband, thereby tempting him. I saw a sadness come over Adam's countenance. He appeared afraid and astonished. A struggle appeared to be going on in his mind. He felt that his wife must die. They must be separated. His love for Eve was strong, and in utter discouragement, he resolved to share her fate. He seized the fruit and quickly ate it. Then Satan exulted. Adam, through his love for Eve, disobeyed the command of God and fell with her. Notwithstanding the sophistry of Satan to the contrary, it is always disastrous to disobey God. We must set our hearts to know what is truth. All the lessons which God has caused to be placed on record in His Word are for our warning and instruction. They are given to save us from deception. Their neglect will result in ruin to ourselves. Whatever contradicts God's Word, we may be sure, proceeds from Satan.